want to greet you this morning in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I'll tell you that what we've been listening to so far, there's no better news that can come to our So many things has come to our mind since we've been here this morning. We've looked at this congregation and set around. And so many people, since it's the first time that I've come here to the gym, that they're not here in the world yet. Some of them are sick and may be able to be back out again. And some of them will never sit in their congregation. And shortly, it's coming to you and I at the same way. I thought, instead of your son of song to you, about a resurrection that's going to take place. And they said, the righteous will be dead. But I want to tell you according to this scripture, not according to something that I'm bringing God to you. But according to this scripture, not only the righteous is going to be dead, but the unrighteous. Amen. Also. Amen. One judgment, one resurrection, one judge is going to last sentence up on every one of us this morning. That we can live this life and give us some privilege, as Brother Bruce mentioned, that we can live this life any way that we want to. But we know down deep inside us that it's going to come to an end. Listen, there's a day of reckoning laid out in front of us. Brother Bruce reminds us of this time that we can't get good enough, we can't do it in our own. There's no way that there is one Savior yeah. that He has given us life and He controls not only this world that we're in, but He controls the universe this morning. I thought of some of the people before us that I did, which you stood here, and how different that we look at it sometimes, that Apostle Paul <coughs> and James, when we go back and read things that he wrote, uh, Brother James, that he was saying because he had to save you. Sometimes we get sad because we get to thinking about leaving here and being buried in the ground. But I'm thankful that the God that we serve this morning that He is a powerful God and that His promises are sure this morning. That He has promised us that this living heart, and all of us have it, and it don't make any difference whether we're righteous people or not righteous people. All of us are eternal, everlasting beings this morning. That we're going to exist somewhere. And one of the brethren mentioned to us that it's up to us where we live. Okay? We go about in this world and we plan things tomorrow, next day, next year, next week. It may never happen. Right? Uh, that he could come back and we know that there's a lot of scripture that's being put out or a lot of words that's being put out, not scripture. I'm telling you that this has got to happen and that's got to happen before we can come back. Listen, we can take this book this morning and many, many of these things that they're speaking about that's got to happen. We can take it from another place way behind it. The only thing that's got to happen is the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah is to come back here and yeah. redeem hey, us right. yeah. 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 up on this earth. The brother has spoke to you this morning, and I thought about this, that they have spoke to you about how precious that this time is that you and I have. Yeah. And we go through this world, go through this life, and sometimes that we live to sleep of mine, and leave me. 
And, and I thought about a little king be up there in this world, but he was speaking to me. About a little king that be up there in this world. And according to scripture, that he was a man after God's own heart. We can find many things that he did and make us wonder about. That he was an adulterer, uh, that he was a murderer, many things yeah. that he did. Yet, he said when he come down to his death, he said God gave a good testimony of it. But I thought as they stood here and spoke to you about something that he asked God. Lord, help my unbelief. And I thought you'd think of that down on my mind all week, brother. Lord, help my unbelief. We, the faith that we have in it, and this is what kind of a people that we are. This applies to every one of us. Every one of us is just alive. If we was all, I heard an old preacher saying one time, he said we was all created from the same little lump of dirt. So we're no different. And to, to back up just a little bit, Brother Gibb was speaking to me that the Jew and the Gentiles that people speak about so much. When the good Lord looked down upon us and he concluded us all under sin, every one of us become equal, whether we Jew, Gentile, or whatever nationality of people that we were, we all become equal on that day. And he, this, to look at us and think about us this morning, and many, many times, but again, that I hear people about going to a doctor, a man standing there and examining, and they have great knowledge, and that also comes from God. Amen. And standing and looking at them and examining them, Telling them you only have three or four weeks, and you only have so long a time. And how that we will accept that. Doctor said this, a Christian and women, bringing her right down home in here, the yeah. car and yeah. after, that we'll get out and tell people, well, he's only got four weeks, he's only got so much. Faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. You and I that were born again of God's Spirit. There was a man stood and told us, Brother Gibb made me to it's about a time in our past when the little man called Jesus walked here in this world. And how that he actually walked out. To think about this now. He actually walked out and laid hands on a dead corpse and spoke to it. Life come back to it. And it raised up and began to walk and talk. Move out. One of them, he told her he said, go fix her something to eat. And come to When she come back to life again. And people stood and looked at it and we marveled. Why in the world didn't they believe? If you and I had been there and we had seen it, now listen, listen and examine it and see if you're the same way, Brother Don, that uh, all of us are pretty much the same. This man, if I was in a uh, position where I could see these things go on, at first, Brother James, I would really mark that man lay his right in the bed. But it wouldn't be very long. Now, when I got out of his sight and got out someplace, and this thing would start to work, uh, there's something there that I miss. Yeah. They, they, they got to be something there that took place that I didn't see. But it was the Spirit of God. I can hear it if it's laid from the dead. Uh, there will be no doubt in your mind. The people in the past, 
they didn't have what you and I would have thought of believe in. And that's why when we look back at the shield today, we call our faith we did in showing us who is in charge of things this morning. I heard a little girl during graduation. I heard her begin to read from the scripture that I thought was a scripture and she read a little bit. And I listened and thought, why in the world, why couldn't she just touch the scripture with one of the and pulled it down and been satisfied with it? But what she was floating, she began to float, and seeing that we are in hands to bow, a so greater cloud of witness. Let us lay down every weight and the sin that doeth so easily be satisfied. If she had stayed with that, she had been alive, but she had to add things to it, and he become not scripture anymore when we bury away from it. God, when God established this salvation that the brethren has been speaking to you about this morning, I thought about this, said the spirit now, the spirit, uh, not the flesh of man, but the spirit, that he testified of the suffering of Christ and the glory that was to follow. And said the prophets that was behind us, that they inquired into this salvation building. They're very, very careful with the same voice. That the grace, now, something was going to be out here ahead of them that they didn't have. But the grace that should come into this generation that's out here today it will hurt what the scripture says. Faith that we look at uh, we think about that it is the evidence of things unseen this morning. That we don't see the end of it this morning. We, when you and I, near the preacher stand someplace in our life that's been born again, and here he begins to, to preach this same thing. I know in the 24th chapter of uh, Matthew, how that it begins to speak and tells us in the gospel shall be preached unto all the world and then the end. Listen, this is one of the things that we can put behind us. Yeah. Apostle Paul uh, already told us that the gospel has been preached to every creature under heaven this morning. We, when we heard it, the gospel of our salvation, listen, there was nothing that was brought out here in front of us and nothing, not a picture that we seen, but we believe by faith that what he was speaking to us was a fact. And when we begin to believe it, Brother Paul, and when we begin to reinforce about it, the same Jesus that was crucified that died for us upon the tree, that he began to move in our minds and begin to add to it. But again, and listen, when we was ready, if we come in the right way, when we was ready to come to the church, it would have been a very hard matter to convince us that this was not true. We could begin to look at it this morning and go back to it. And all the prophets that we marvel at great things that took place. It wasn't because they were such good people this morning, but it was the same God that was in charge of them, that was in charge of you, and it was the belief. One scripture began to speak about, going back to salvation again, said, even to them that believe on his name. That's what brought us to where we were at. When an old preacher began to speak to us and began to tell us uh, about a, a resurrection that was going to be said, 
and all of us was going to come into it. And we accepted it. Listen, we were tucked out and buried in baptism in water in a watery grave and raised to walk in a newness of life. If we were born to be spirit, listen, we had all confidence. Uh, we had all faith in Him that He was going uh, uh, to be just concerning His promise and that this resurrection that was going to take place, that when we come up to it, that we were going to meet Him with a smile on our face, yeah. Sister Betty, and we were going to hear him welcome us in this morning. We can begin to back up and look. I made mention a little bit the other night. Uh, listen, we're in the past time when he walked. Uh, people, Brother Don, was able to touch him, yeah. able to see him. Mm -hmm. People with uh, uh, leprosy on their skin that there was deteriorating, rotting away. Uh, they saw these things that took place. They saw him raise people from the dead. Uh, saw him bring them back to life. Uh, and they began to seek. And they began to hunt and search. And when they saw him, Brother Gibb, they went to him. One of them told him, said, Master, I know, said that you can cleanse me if you will. He said, uh, sometimes, uh, I made mention the other evening, uh, listen, uh, sometimes we hear things quoted that's not scripture. We hear them begin to speak uh, about the Hebrew children uh, that uh, went into the fiery furnace back here. And we can hear brethren say that they knew they was their God was going to bring them out of there. Uh, not according to Scripture. They didn't know it. What they said, they said that they believed that He would bring them out of there. But if He don't, He said that He'll raise us up again. Uh, you and I this morning, the faith that we have in Him, going back to some of these old prophets that were behind us from the first, from the first time. Uh, listen, that we... I hear about a man offering a sacrifice unto him, and as far as we know, uh, there was only four people in the world. And if you want to examine uh, what kind of people that we are this morning, four people in the world, and one of them committed murder. Killed, uh, I read where he said he killed one fourth uh, of the population of the world. But listen, the sacrifice that he offered, that it was accepted of God, and God testified of it, uh, that it was righteous this morning. Uh, we can go out on down, and old Abraham, uh, when he began, uh, uh, we think about his faith he had, think about the situation that he was in, Brother Don, uh, as he began to move here on this earth, and God ordered him to go into a country, said that he knew not. And he moved by faith, not knowing where he was going, uh, and said the heirs, uh, that as he traveled around, that they too was with him. And Noah, uh, when he begins uh, to move, said he moved uh, with fear, uh, preparing the ark to save his household uh, this morning. Uh, you and I realize uh, this morning that it's not uh, the faith that we have, that it's not uh, concerning so much uh, how this natural life we're in, uh, uh, but we're looking to an eternal, everlasting uh, uh, home set right out here in front of us. Uh, I like the Hebrew children uh, uh, that was behind the sis. Uh, I, if I go down here into the hospital somewhere, I, I and the doctor tells me I don't have very much time. I, I listen, I don't want to accept that. I, I, Brother Paul, I, I, I know that I've got a God. I, 
how to say it to me. I, I listen. I, I, and I know that he has all power. I, how that he hasn't lost his power. I, how that he may. I, I listen when he rolls the dead. I, I, he hasn't lost his power. I, I, when this I, I, little man that we called out from Thomas, I, I begin to look at him and watch him come through the door. I, I walking right up to there. I, I, and I realize that this morning, I, I, but I'm like the little Hebrew children, I, I, that I don't know whether he'll heal me or not. I, I know that he can. I, I, but bless his name this morning. I, I know that if he don't, I, I, that he'll raise me up again in the last day. Let's sit out here. Uh, just to look away. We don't know when it's going to come. Uh, sometimes we look around. We can hear brother. I, I, we know this world. I, I, brother James, that we live in, that it wax worse and worse. I, I, and it's going to continue to do so. I, I, God said it was. I, I, as long as, uh, as it exists, I, I, it's going to get worse and worse. I, uh, but we don't know how long it's going to stand, Brother Bruce. Oh. I, I that you and I may lay in the ground somewhere. I, I 10,000 years. But listen, like Apostle Paul said to us, it don't matter to be absent from this thing that we have this morning. Is to be present with the Lord. If I let my mind wonder, and you're all the same this morning, if I let my mind begin to wander, all I think about laying out here someplace, Brother Don, and my little grandkids come, how sad they're going to be, and how uh, broken hearted that they're going to be. Uh, it caused me to be sad from the heart. I, I, but listen, I, I, if I'll begin I, I, to put my mind where God intended for it to be, I, I, brother Gibbs, I, I, instead of thinking about being out here in the ground, I, I, that this living part I, I, is going to be separated, I, yeah. I, and go back to the care of God. Listen, I'm going to remain there until He decides to come back and get what's His. It may be tomorrow, maybe before we get off in this hill. Brother Jim, but listen, when he called, I, I said he was going to leave heaven. I, I with the shout, with the trump of God, and the voice of an archangel, I, I coming back I, I, to fulfill a promise that he had promised. I, I, and we, I, I, that are living and remain, I, I said we're going to meet him in the air. I, I listen, I, I, there'll be a bunch of people. I, I try to convince you for some reason. I, I don't know why. I, I, that there's going to be a whole bunch. I, I, some of them three or four different resurrections. I, I, some of them say there's going to be two. I, I, this and he'll make a quick work up on this earth. I, I, when he comes back, he done finished it. I, I, he said when he hung on the cross, I, 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 he said that, I, I, Father, that it is finished. I, I, you don't have to do anything else. I, I but redeem what he left here this morning. One resurrection. We can go back this morning and listen to old Daniel. That begin to speak about one. Said that I that the sleep, them that sleep in the dust, that they will be uh, awakened, some to everlasting life, some to everlasting conflict and shame. I, I and people will say, well, see here, I, I, there's two resurrections. I, I, no, sir, I, I, both of them. I, I, I rose at the same time this morning. I, I, I know I, I, that the Scriptures begins to tell us I, over here I, I, that the righteous, I, 
or the evil will not stand I in the judgment of the righteous. I, I, but we can also understand this morning I, I, that you'll either stand I, I, or you'll fall I, I, before your own I, I, master this morning. I, I, they're not going to stand. I, I, as Brother Gideon begin to speak this morning, I, I, they'll say amen to the wrong. Condemnation. There'll not be a big argument about it. Listen, but they'll have to accept that final word. Listen, you and I, we make headway day by day if we move through here. Uh, we look back and we think about uh, a bunch of people once that followed him, Brother Don, and listen, uh, that he began to tell them some stuff. Uh, that except you drink of my flesh and except you eat of my blood, uh, he said that you have no life in uh, uh, and, and they that was with him. Uh, uh, begin to think about it and tell him, uh, uh, why this is a hard saying. Uh, 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 we just can't hardly accept this. Uh, uh, he said many of them uh, uh, went away. Uh, uh, and he turned to the little twelve, a little handful of corn, uh, 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 if you will, and he told them, uh, uh, will you also go away? Uh, uh, and this is what they said to him. Uh, uh, this is my answer uh, uh, also this morning. Uh, uh, and I want to get right down uh, uh, where you live this morning, whether you're in the church uh, uh, or where you're out of the church. I, I, when they answered him, I, I, they told him, said, I, I, Master, I, I, where else I, I, can we go for who else I, I has the words of eternal life? I, I, if you're on the outside of the church this morning, I, I want to ask you, I, I, where else can you go this morning? Who else has the words? of eternal life this morning. There is surely a resurrection that's going to come right out in our future somewhere. Listen, I thought this morning on my way over here, uh, and, and we make the statement sometimes, Brother Don, but he don't stack up when we think about it. How fast time passes. Listen, time don't speed up. Time don't slow down. But listen, you and I do. Yeah. We yeah. speed it up, and the older we get, the faster we move. But we're going somewhere. Yeah. We're going to wind up shortly in our long home, whether it's in heaven or it's in a place. And I, I've noticed how Brother and Sean and this anymore, whether it's in heaven or where it's in a burning hell that burns forever and forever. Where the worm dies not, it's just as real as a place of contentment, yeah. peace, and joy that sit right out here in front of us. Brother Bruce made mention to me that we are going to decide where we want to be. And the Lord told us one, that one time in this book, he said that I judge no man. Brother Bruce made mention to me that you're going to decide where you're going. It's all up to you. He told us, he said that I judge no man, but the words that I speak that they judge me this morning. That's what we're judged by every day that we live, every, every hour that we exist up on this world and we're going to come up before him and give an account. If we depend upon this flesh of ours, listen, in the day of judgment, we will not stand for the righteous. But if we depend upon God, put our care over into his hands, follow after that spirit that he establishes in our life, we've got a place in heaven destination that we enter into. We're glad to be back out here one more time. We don't know next year that I may not be here. You may not be here. 
It's the brother's feet. Today is the day of salvation. The good Lord opened the door to the church many, many years ago. And this is he stood with his arms outstretched. And he said, Come unto me, all ye ends of the earth, and be ye saved. For I am God, he said. And besides me, besides him, there is no other safety. We love every one of you, and we're glad to be out with you again. The church doors are open. And listen, tomorrow morning you may not have the opportunity that you have to live for you.